Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Catherine. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean and um, get rid of the wax in your warmers. Um, I have two examples to show you guys. There are different ways to do it as well other than these two options, but I just find that these are a lot easier. So the first thing you're going to need are some cotton balls, cotton rounds, whatever you prefer. I just get these at Walmart. They're just like $2 and they last a long time. And you're also going to need some isopropyl alcohol. Anything works. You can also use hand sanitizer as well. But this is going to be a way to get rid of all that gunk sometimes that you see when using your wax warmers. So the first method, I'm going to show you guys right here with this warmer. Um, what you can do is you can see that wax. I know the lid looks really black on camera but it's red so i guess it's not really a great way to show you guys but you can just drop a couple of cotton balls in there and you can see right here that they're kind of absorbing so you can see that so it'll just start soaking up everything and just grab a little trash bag and just dump it up so there's that and then you can use another cotton ball just get all the sides like that and you can see some of that gunk right there <laughs> not a pretty sight to see and then what i like to do afterwards is i spray i just put a couple of drops of the isopropyl alcohol in there just to make sure everything's disinfected and all nice and clean and if you want it to sit a little bit you can but it will evaporate because it is isopropyl alcohol <laughs> So that's what it looks like. A lot cleaner, I presume. Let's just go back a little bit more. That is, I should have used a different warmer. I apologize, but this is kind of like a basic way to clean your wax warmers. Um, I know a lot of people use it just because it's really fast and efficient. Um, bear in mind the nasty gunk on my warmers. I usually don't clean them very often. I kind of actually wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This is kind of like a week without cleaning them. I am not a perfectionist, so excuse me for all these missing gunks <laughs> that I am not getting. So I know it's probably bothering a lot of people, but that's basically how you clean a wax warmer all the way through. Now this is one you can see that's obviously not all the way melted. And this is honestly my favorite way of cleaning wax warmers, just cause it's um, saves a lot of cotton balls and reduces a lot of waste. Um, so what you can do, you can actually use your finger to kind of like push it out. There you go. <laughs> That's actually a lot easier. I like to keep the warmers on, so I'll take it off like this, let the wax kind of dry up, and once it's fully dry, you put it back on. It takes like two minutes for it to just get off like this, and I know a lot of people like they'll just keep it in their freezer and it'll pop right out, but I, I just have a lot of hard time using that method, and this one's just a little bit easier. Um, you can clearly tell all the gunk from the wax that it has, so right after that, I'll grab a little bit of some alcohol, do a good generous bit, grab the thing, and it legit comes right off like it is brand new Bad. I'll put a little bit more on the cotton round and just clean it up so yeah that's how I clean my wax warmers um, there are different types of wax warmers as well there are a little um, the plug-in ones which I will show you guys really quickly that is a clean dish. Now there are some times when if you do try to like push it out with your fingers, um, you could just also use like a little wooden stick, a popsicle stick that works too if it's harder, especially with these. Um, I've actually done the method that I just did with this one with this all the time and you cannot actually tell but there's like little like scratches. So I do recommend if you want to do this method, um, try not to do with the ones with the little dishes that have like color-coded because it can really damage the um, 
coating. So I recommend like clear glass dishes as well with things like this or the metal ones. Those are really nice as well. Um, I do have a hard time with these specific ones. They're kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a little bit different. But sometimes the wax will like um, attach to the sides. If you guys know how to get rid of this, let me know because usually when you rub with like a cotton ball, um, the residue of the cotton ball will kind of like start showing on that. So I'm honestly not really picky. There are There's some residue, but I mean, it looks a lot better, guys. Yeah. Okay, so now we have one of these plug-in warmers. Very nice, very cute. And so again, with the same second method, you can just grab the wax and it'll pop right out. There you go. And that's done. And you can just throw it out in the trash and then puts a little bit of more alcohol in here just to get rid of all the residue. So it's really hard to do with one hand, by the way. So I'm just kind of figure that out and look at all that residue. Yeah. You can also do the same method with the first method, just dipping the cotton balls in there, just letting it all absorb. And yeah, this is how I clean my wax warmers. Um, if you guys have different ways to clean them, let me know down in the comments. Um, this is just what's easier for me. And I do sometimes have time to um, just sit for like two minutes and just let it heat up and it'll just pop right out. But yeah, let me um, know what you guys think and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.